There's nothing more limiting than having an instrument that's portable and light enough to travel all over the stage and even jump in the crowd with your fans. But you have to stay stationary because you're plugged in by quarter inch to your pedal board, your amp, or your DI box. Well, the solution for that is wireless transmitters. And there's a lot of different ones. I want to take you through my personal journey of where I started and what I use today. Let's get into this. Hello, my fearless friends. My name is Shay Sean Phantom McPherson, and we're back with another Gear and Gadgets. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. What I am is a DJ, violinist, and MC, and I like to bring you the hardware, software, or clothing that pertains to being that type of performer, whether you're one or all three, like myself. Today, I want to talk about wireless transmitters and why they're so freeing. Even though we trust these you know, trusty quarter inch wires. It's so fun to be interactive with your crowd. You know, I've had shows where I've jumped and crowd surf with my violin, and that's not possible if you're tied down by a quarter inch wire. So you need a reliable system that's not gonna cut out on you on integral or important parts of your playing that you want your audience to experience. So I have three units today that I wanted to show you. The first unit is this Samsung A77. This was the first wireless system that I used, and it was very reliable. Um, it, used the, uh, it uses the UHF bandwidth, which is reliable, but unfortunately the FCC has been buying up the bandwidth, so it's been getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So that was my first system. Um, I enjoyed it very much. I used it in plays, productions. I used it on TV. I used it on the Apollo stage and many other stages. Uh, and it was reliable, but it started to degrade. I don't know if it's because the FCC was buying up the bandwidth. I don't know what it is, but I started getting a lot of crackles and pops. And the thing about this system is it can't jump you know frequencies this this particular brand which i think is discontinued at this point by samson um that's the negative that's why i had to search for a new way or a new system so my second system that i jumped into was from sennheiser a very reputable company uh for any type of pro audio sound and i got this xsw digital instrument set right and immediately what i loved about it is how portable it is compared to this and when you're traveling the difference between even this this box right here and these two little things that can easily fit in my pockets or anywhere uh is really dope i really love the idea of these but unfortunately, at this time, I have to send them back for warranty repair because for some reason, uh, while using these, uh, it starts to like go away after a while. I don't know if it's like a bum version that I got or I don't know what. And it also doesn't use UHF. It uses 2.4 gigahertz, uh, which is like Wi-Fi. So you're competing with, you know, Wi-Fi channels. It can be used all over the world. I know that the UHF can't be used in certain, you know, certain uh, uh, bandwidths of the UHF can't be used all over the world, or you're not supposed to use it because they ban it for their um, military airports and stuff like that. So I set these back and I was like, I really need something that's more reliable. These go up to about 100 feet and they sounded great it sounded like a wire but the fact that it started to fail on me you know a couple of months after getting it is an issue so what i ended up doing was going for a very reliable source which is this sennheiser sennheiser is known for having great sound and i trusted the brand enough even though i had a bad experience with these thus far that this would be 
the next thing, which is the Evolution Wireless G4 portable lavalier mic set. And the thing that's really great about these is that it's not only for instruments. It can be used um, as on top of your camera as a lavalier set, and that's actually what it came with. It came with a a, a cold shoe, a, a hot shoe mount for your um, camera to be able to send this, you know, very good lavalier that they give to you with that unit into your camera. So you can use it for, you know, broadcasting. You can put a mic on it. And these receivers are still kind of portable. So I started, I started big with this, went smaller, then came back up to this. But this is the most reliable unit that I've used thus far. I've walked into the street outside of a restaurant. Like, I play in these restaurants like Soko Restaurant and... Red Rooster Restaurant in Harlem. And this allows me to walk all over the place because it gives you, it, it'll actively jump to the best channel for frequency through RF. So these Sennheiser DW G4 are like the best thing that I have right now. The pros of the Evolution Wireless G4 Portable Live mic set, it costs $600. It has excellent sound and is extremely reliable. It has not cut out on me yet. It can go up to 330 feet and it uses the UHF bandwidth. It lasts about eight hours on four AA batteries. Uh, I had to buy the quarter inch attachment that's proprietary to the, uh, to the receiver, but uh, I'm very happy with these. And I'm happy that I can also, you know, if I go to a thing, something like NAM, uh, where I'm interviewing people on gear and stuff like that, I can use it as a lav. The only two cons with this new system that I got, the G4 portable lav mic set, is that one, you have to wear it. Unlike these, uh, the XSW instrument set, you just plug it right in and you can, you know, move around and leave it on the instrument. With having this on your body, you gotta remember it's on your body. So if you put your instrument down, you don't wanna walk away and you know drag the instrument off the desk or the table. Um, the second con is, is a simple con, and it's not just to the Sennheiser G4. It's the fact that the FCC is buying up the UHF space. Even though it's the most reliable, I don't know what the new standard is going to be moving forward if the FCC keeps buying bandwidths. You know, they try to get wit rid of 500 to 600, and uh, I, I believe they have 100 to 300. So you have this in the middle space that's getting more narrow and more narrow. But if you're looking for the most reliable system now, it's the G4 by Sennheiser or Evolution Wireless. Um, I'll put... Uh, affiliate links to all the systems that I mentioned today in case you want to buy them. It does help the channel, uh, you know, a little bit of kickback so I can keep bringing these videos to you. And uh, if you like what I'm doing or you like the content or the, even the idea of it or you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'm also curious as to what wireless system you might use because I might want to try that. Um, my name is Shay Sean Phantom McPherson. Thanks for coming to Gear and Gadgets. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.